Hello superheroes, welcome to my channel. I'm Scarlett Grace from UnseenSeraph.com. I'm a manifestation coach and today I'm going to share with you a very easy and effective way to manifest a text message from your ex-boyfriend or girlfriend. Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to share with you a super easy way to manifest the text or a phone call from your ex-boyfriend or girlfriend or any other person you want to get a text or a call, a Facebook message or DM from. Maybe it's from someone who isn't your ex that you want a message from or maybe it's your boss or a client. It works in all of these cases and many many more. The technique is extremely easy but there are certain things many people do that can block it from working. And there are also some cases where it may not be a good idea for you to try and manifest a text or a call. And I'm going to explain what those cases are and what you can do instead. So make sure you watch this video until the end, because then you'll have everything you need to make this technique truly work for you. All right, so the method to manifest a text is pretty simple. You use a declaration or an affirmation. For example, I intend for Jake to text me. Or you could say, of course Jake calls me. Another way to put it is this. Isn't it wonderful that Jake texted me? Or you can say, I'm happy that I received a message from Jake. Or you can say, I'm so grateful that I got a message from Jake. Another way to do this is, Thank you God or thank you universe for this text I received from Jake. All of these work equally well and you can choose the one that resonates with you, the one that makes you feel more confident and happy and powerful and in control of the situation. While saying your affirmation or affirmations, feel the emotions that you would feel if you had just received a text message or a phone call from them. How would you feel if your phone rang right now and you saw it was them? Maybe you would feel happy or excited or satisfied. Whatever it is, lock onto that emotion and make sure you're truly feeling it as you're saying your affirmation. So what you need to do is pick one of those or even more than one if that works better for you and repeat it over and over for a few minutes as well as whenever you remember it throughout the day while feeling the positive emotions that you would feel if it had just happened. You can also picture your phone in your head as you're doing this, imagining it lighting up because of an incoming call or message. And imagine that you look at the screen and you see it's from the specific person that you want. This method can work almost instantly or it can take a few hours or even a few days to produce results. How fast it works depends totally on how much resistance you have around this issue, how much you believe or don't believe that it's going to happen. We'll get to that in a minute, but let me explain first how and why this technique works. The reason this technique works, and the reason it is so effective, is because everyone is you pushed out. Every person and every event is your mirror and a manifestation of you. What this means is that if, for example, your ex isn't calling or isn't texting you, that's because you have created them and the situation to be that way with your imagination. Now you're probably thinking, but how did I create this when all I want is for them to call me? The thing is, we don't just create with our conscious thoughts. We also create with our subconscious thoughts and our beliefs about how things generally work. Maybe all you want is for him to call you or text you. But if he was really mad at you when you broke up and you haven't spoken in six months, your belief is that it's extremely unlikely that he would contact you. The thing that you need to understand is that no matter what the situation is right now, you created it with the thoughts you had in the past. Maybe it's the same thoughts that created the breakup in the first place, or maybe it's thoughts you started thinking and things you started imagining and focusing on after the breakup. The important part is that you created this with your thoughts. The only thing that has the power to create is your thoughts. If you stop focusing on the things you don't like in your thoughts, for example, why isn't he calling me? 
and start focusing instead on the things you do want to happen, for example, of course Jake texts me, then the situation will change. Jake is your mirror and he only reflects what you think and imagine. So all you have to do to change what he does and get him to call or text you is change how you imagine him. Imagine him calling you or texting you. Affirm to yourself, I intend for Jake to call me. Of course Jake calls me. And feel gratitude and joy for this call or this text as if it has already happened, as if it's already your reality right now, as if it's natural and normal right now for it to happen. Thank you God for Jake's text. Thank you universe that Jake called me. Now this is the number one thing that can block this technique from working for you fast. You need to make sure that you stop focusing on all the things you don't want and all the reasons why this text or this phone call is unlikely to happen. See, in situations like this, we usually have this series of thoughts that go through our head at least a dozen times a day and they go like, I want Jake to call me. Oh, but that's so unlikely considering how we left things. He was really angry with me when he stormed off. We haven't talked in weeks and he was really hurt. I shouldn't have yelled at him that much. Of course he doesn't want to talk to me. Who wants to talk to someone who yells at them? And he said he never wants to talk to me again. Sound familiar? Now if you have thoughts like those running through your head several times a day, every day, those are all thoughts that created the current situation where he isn't calling. You're focusing on all the reasons he wouldn't call and wouldn't want to call. And what gets created? Him not calling and him not wanting to call. It's as simple as that. You need to be mindful of your thoughts throughout the day. You need to be mindful of your mental diet. And if you don't know what a mental diet is, then watch my video on mental diets. I'll link that up to the right and also below in the description so that you can go watch it because it's going to make a huge difference in your life. But basically, you need to be mindful of your thoughts throughout the day and the conversations you have with people in your mind and whenever you catch yourself having the usual train of thoughts about how and why he won't call, stop yourself. So for example, you start thinking, I want Jake to call me, but it's unlikely considering how we left things. He's probably still really angry with me. Of course he doesn't want to talk to me. At this moment, you realize what you're focusing your thoughts on and you stop and change gears. You just say, actually, no, that's just crap. Of course Jake wants to talk. Of course he's thinking about texting me. I intend that he texts me. It's that easy. The second way you may block this technique from working is by believing the lie that what you want is difficult or unlikely. Remember, everyone is you pushed out. There are no easy and difficult things to manifest. You are the one making them either easy or difficult by believing that they are easy or difficult. All things were created by your thoughts and everything can be changed if you change your thoughts about them and the way you imagine them to be. It is truly as simple as that. So don't buy all of these reasons that your mind is providing you with regarding how difficult it is going to be to manifest this phone call or this text or anything. It is as easy to manifest a phone call from your best friend as it is to manifest a phone call from your ex from two years ago who blocked you on Facebook and then moved to another continent. Here's a story that demonstrates how easily this technique works and this is a story from my life. This is something that happened to me. So a few years back, I was thinking about calling a specific person who I hadn't talked to in over three years. There were many reasons why calling this person was a really bad idea. So I didn't really know whether I wanted to call after all or not. I was thinking about it. I was thinking about it and constantly changing my mind for about a week. And then suddenly the phone rings and it's this person. We hadn't spoken in three years and he had very, very valid reasons to want to stay away from me and never talk to me again. But I was thinking about calling him and rehearsing the phone call in my head. You know, if I call, what am I even going to say? And because this was what I kept imagining, it manifested. He called and he was like, Hey, I haven't seen you or heard from you in over three years. I assumed that you had probably moved away and changed your number, but I couldn't help it. I had to try and call you. You see? 
It doesn't matter how long it's been, how you left things. Nothing really matters because it's your thoughts and your imagination that create, not the circumstances you're in. Circumstances don't matter. Only what you create in your imagination matters because that's what's going to manifest. Another example of how I used this technique is when I needed to fix my laptop. So my laptop had some, some kind of problem. The details of the problem aren't important, but the thing is, I needed to take it to a specific person to be repaired, and this person is notorious for saying, I'll call you or I'll text you and never calling. I had to deal with him on multiple occasions in the past, and I'd call and he'd say, hey, I'm busy right now, can I call you back in five? And then a day would pass with no communication from him and I'd message and he wouldn't reply. So I called this guy like three or four times within a few hours and he wasn't picking up and I was getting really angry and frustrated. And then I realized what I was doing. I kept thinking, of course he's not going to pick up again. So I switched gears and I started saying in my head, of course he's going to call me back. He's going to call me back in a few minutes. And a few minutes later, my phone rang and it was him. So we made arrangements for me to drop off the laptop to be repaired on Tuesday morning. And I needed the laptop for work before the weekend. He said it was 100% going to be ready on Friday, but definitely not before Friday. Since he's not the easiest person to get a hold of though, I kept stressing over whether I'd get my laptop back in time, whether it would be fixed, whether he would have managed to fix it or not. So I started saying during the day, of course he has fixed my laptop. He's calling to say that it's 100% fixed and working perfectly and I can go pick it up earlier than we had arranged. He was supposed to have it ready on Friday. On Wednesday, he called me by himself. I didn't call or message or anything to tell me that it's 100% fixed and working perfectly and I can go pick it up immediately if I want to. Two days early. So you see, this technique can be used for anyone you want communication from. It doesn't have to be an ex or someone you're romantically involved with. But I also promised you to explain when it's a bad idea to use this technique. So let's talk about this for a bit. If you're trying to manifest a specific person in the sense that you're imagining a relationship with them or marrying them, then don't focus on communication. Don't focus on getting texts or phone calls or anything like that. The reason why you shouldn't be focusing and getting a text in such cases is that your end result is, for example, marrying this specific person, right? So if your end result that you want is being married to that person, but you're focusing on getting a text from them, are you leaving in the end? No, you aren't leaving from the end result you want. In fact, what you're doing is exactly what you shouldn't be doing. You're messing with the middle. Getting a text from them is the middle. What you should be focusing on is the end, not the middle. But focusing on the end, stuff like getting texts or phone calls from this specific person will be taken care of automatically because if you get married to this person, then of course they're going to call you or text you regularly, right? But if you spend all of your energy trying to manifest a phone call or a text from them, then there is no guarantee that this phone call or this text is going to lead to anything more, like getting back together or getting married, for example. If you imagine a text message and you get a text message, then this manifestation is complete. It's finished. It isn't leading you to anything more. But if you imagine being married to your specific person or being in a happy relationship with your specific person and then they text you, then this text is part of the bridge of incidents that is happening to take you to the end result you've imagined. So if you're working on manifesting, getting back together or a relationship with this person, then don't focus on getting a text from them. Or if you do, then do it in a way that integrates well into your kind affirmations that are focused on the end result you want. For example, don't say, I intend for Jake to text me today. Say, of course Jake texts me regularly because he's my boyfriend. Or, of course, Jake calls me often because he's my husband. So this is the method to manifest a text or a phone call from your specific person or from anyone else you want. Use it, have fun with it, give it a few days to work and see what happens. And if it worked for you, then leave a comment below and let me know. If you like this video, then please give it a thumbs up 
And if you haven't already, then subscribe and hit the bell icon. And also come over to my Facebook community and say hi. Thank you so much for watching.